In mathematics, a Lie group Li, is a group that is also a differentiable manifold, with the property that the group operations are compatible with the smooth structure. Lie groups are named after Sophus Lie, who laid the foundations of the theory of continuous transformation groups. The term groups de Lie first appeared in French in 1893 in the thesis of Lee's student Arthur Tresser, page 3. Lie groups represent the best developed theory of continuous symmetry of mathematical objects and structures, which makes them indispensable tools for many parts of contemporary mathematics, as well as for modern theoretical physics. They provide a natural framework for analyzing the continuous symmetries of differential equations, in much the same way as permutation groups are used in Galois' theory for analyzing the discrete symmetries of algebraic equations, an extension of Galois' theory to the case of continuous symmetry groups was one of Lee's principal motivations. Overview. Lie groups are smooth differentiable manifolds and as such can be studied using differential calculus. In contrast with the case of more general topological groups, one of the key ideas in the theory of lie groups is to replace the global object, the group, with its local or linearized version, which lie himself called its infinitesimal group and which has since become known as its lie algebra. Lie groups play an enormous role in modern geometry, on several different levels. Felix Klein argued in his Erlangen program that one can consider various geometries by specifying an appropriate transformation group that leaves certain geometric properties invariant. Thus Euclidean geometry corresponds to the choice of the group E of distance preserving transformations of the Euclidean space R3. Conformal geometry corresponds to enlarging the group to the conformal group, whereas in projective geometry one is interested in the properties invariant under the projective group. The idea later led to the notion of a G structure, where G is a Lie group of local symmetries of a manifold. On a global level, whenever a Lie group acts on a geometric object, such as a Riemannian or a symplectic manifold, this action provides a measure of rigidity and yields a rich algebraic structure. The presence of continuous symmetries expressed via a Lie group action on a manifold places strong constraints on its geometry and facilitates analysis on the manifold. Linear actions of Lie groups are especially important and are studied in representation theory. In the 1940s-1950s, Ellis Colchin, Almond Borel, and Claude Chevalier realized that many foundational results concerning Lie groups can be developed completely algebraically, giving rise to the theory of algebraic groups defined over an arbitrary field. This insight opened new possibilities in pure algebra by providing a uniform construction for most finite simple groups as well as in algebraic geometry. The theory of automorphic forms, an important branch of modern number theory, deals extensively with analogues of Lie groups over Adele rings. Piadic Lie groups play an important role, via their connections with Galois representations in number theory. Definitions and examples a real Lie group is a group that is also a finite-dimensional real smooth manifold, in which the group operations of multiplication and inversion are smooth maps. Smoothness of the group multiplication means that μ is a smooth mapping of the product manifold G times G into G. These two requirements can be combined to the single requirement that the mapping be a smooth mapping of the product manifold into G. First examples the two times two real invertible matrices form a group under multiplication, denoted by GL or by GL2. This is a four-dimensional non-compact real Lie group. This group is disconnected. It has two connected components corresponding to the positive and negative values of the determinant. The rotation matrices form a subgroup of GL, denoted by SO. It is a Lie group in its own right. Specifically, a one-dimensional compact connected Lie group which is diffeomorphic to the circle. Using the rotation angle as a parameter, this group can be parametrized as follows. 
Addition of the angles corresponds to multiplication of the elements of so, and taking the opposite angle corresponds to inversion. Thus both multiplication and inversion are differentiable maps. The orthogonal group also forms an interesting example of a Lie group. All of the previous examples of Lie groups fall within the class of classical groups. Related concepts A complex Lie group is defined in the same way using complex manifolds rather than real ones, and similarly, using an alternate metric completion of Q, one can define a p-adic Lie group over the p-adic numbers a topological group in which each point has a p-adic neighborhood. Hilbert's fifth problem asked whether replacing differentiable manifolds with topological or analytic ones can yield new examples. The answer to this question turned out to be negative. In 1952 Gleason, Montgomery and Zippen showed that if G is a topological manifold with continuous group operations, then there exists exactly one analytic structure on G which turns it into a Lie group. If the underlying manifold is allowed to be infinite dimensional, then one arrives at the notion of an infinite dimensional Lie group. It is possible to define analogues of many Lie groups over finite fields, and these give most of the examples of finite simple groups. The language of category theory provides a concise definition for Lie groups. A Lie group is a group object in the category of smooth manifolds. This is important, because it allows generalization of the notion of a Lie group to Lie supergroups. More examples of Lie groups. Lie groups occur in abundance throughout mathematics and physics. Matrix groups or algebraic groups are groups of matrices, and these give most of the more common examples of Lie groups. Examples with a specific number of dimensions The circle group S1 consisting of angles mod 2 pi under addition or, alternatively, the complex numbers with absolute value 1 under multiplication. This is a one-dimensional compact connected abelian Lie group. The three-sphere S3 forms a Lie group by identification with the set of quaternions of unit norm, called verses. The only other spheres that admit the structure of a Lie group are the zero sphere S0 and the circle S1. For example, for even n greater than 1, Sn is not a Lie group because it does not admit a non-vanishing vector field and so a 40 or I cannot be parallelizable as a differentiable manifold. Of the spheres only S0, S1, S3, and S7 are parallelizable. The last carries the structure of a Lie quasi group, which can be identified with the set of unit octonions. The metaplectic group is a double cover of SL playing an important role in the theory of modular forms. It is a connected Lie group that cannot be faithfully represented by matrices of finite size, i.e., a nonlinear group. The Heisenberg group is a connected nilpotent Lie group of dimension 3, playing a key role in quantum mechanics. The Lorentz group is a six-dimensional Lie group of linear isometries of the Minkowski space. The Poincaré group is a ten-dimensional Lie group of affine isometries of the Minkowski space. The group U times 2 times SU is a Lie group of dimension 1 plus 3 plus 8 equals 12 that is the gauge group of the standard model in particle physics. The dimensions of the factors correspond to the 1 photon plus 3 vector bosons plus 8 gluons of the standard model. The exceptional Lie groups of types G2, F4, E6, E7, E8 have dimensions 14, 52, 78, 133, and 248. Along with the ABCD series of simple Lie groups, the exceptional groups completed the list of simple Lie groups. There is also a Lie group named E7 one half of dimension 190, but it is not a simple Lie group. Examples with n dimensions Euclidean space are n with ordinary vector addition as the group operation becomes an n-dimensional non-compact abelian Lie group. The Euclidean group P is the Lie group of all Euclidean motions, i.e., isometric affine maps, of n-dimensional Euclidean space Rn. The orthogonal group O, consisting of all n times n orthogonal matrices with real entries is an n, two-dimensional Lie group. 
This group is disconnected, but it has a connected subgroup so of the same dimension consisting of orthogonal matrices of determinant 1, called the special orthogonal group. The unitary group U consisting of n times n unitary matrices is a compact connected Lie group of dimension n2. Unitary matrices of determinant 1 form a closed connected subgroup of dimension n2 minus 1 denoted ZU, the special unitary group. Spin groups are double covers of the special orthogonal groups used for studying fermions in quantum field theory. The group GL of invertible matrices is a Lie group of dimension n2, called the general linear group. It has a closed connected subgroup SL, the special linear group, consisting of matrices of determinant 1 which is also a Lie group. The symplectic group SP consists of all 2n times 2n matrices preserving a symplectic form on R2n. It is a connected Lie group of dimension 2n2 plus n. The group of invertible upper triangular n by n matrices is a solvable Lie group of dimension n2. The A series, B series, C series and D series, whose elements are denoted by M, B n, C n, and D n, are infinite families of simple Lie groups. Constructions There are several standard ways to form new Lie groups from old ones. The product of two Lie groups is a Lie group. Any topologically closed subgroup of a Lie group is a Lie group. This is known as the closed subgroup theorem or Cartan's theorem. The quotient of a Lie group by a closed normal subgroup is a Lie group. The universal cover of a connected Lie group is a Lie group. For example, the group R is the universal cover of the circle group S1. In fact any covering of a differentiable manifold is also a differentiable manifold, but by specifying universal cover, one guarantees a group structure. Related notions Some examples of groups that are not Lie groups are infinite dimensional groups, such as the additive group of an infinite dimensional real vector space. These are not Lie groups as they are not finite dimensional manifolds. Some totally disconnected groups, such as the Galois group of an infinite extension of fields, or the additive group of the p-adduct numbers. These are not Lie groups because their underlying spaces are not real manifolds. In general, only topological groups having similar local properties to Rn for some positive integer n can be Lie groups.